Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain particle objects field that you can control the parameter with a particle. Uh, point object field, you, it means you can control the parameter of the field with another object. And the spline object field, it means you can control the parameter of the cloner with splines. And there are interesting effects. So for beginning, we need a plane effector that we want to assign in a field that object. In, there are in here, field layer. <clears throat> you can directly select them from here. Uh, or you can create object here and then drag and then drop here. It's automatically do its job. This is an spline object, point object, and particle uh, object. Okay, begin from the particle. It is very easy. If you play in here, you have to control this parameter. It means the position Y with uh, one field. So in this case, we need the particle. Uh, we can go to the simulate in emitter uh, and as you can see the emitter emits some uh, up points that if you play it you can see it we can make it <coughs> bigger to better see as you can see there are uh, the particle are emitting and uh, you can uh, of course uh, we have to we uh, have a lesson that explain all the simulation in future but don't worry about that you can control a lots of things mm, burst their visibility or seed and speed okay and as you can see uh, it's emits some particle and if each particle uh, contact the any uh, of that cloner there we go up so you can control the y position of each cloner with this emitter for doing that we have to do the go in a plane in a field that we want to control the parameter now it's control the emitter if you click and drag as you can see it's create which you want to point or particle object and as you can see it's automatically created that for you Okay, it's very up. You have to make sure that you contact with your cloner <laughs> and interesting things happen here. So you can do a lots of interesting objects with this. So this is just emitter that you control it. Okay, another thing that you, as you can see, this is a particle object, it's the red. It means we don't have any particle object here. Or you can directly... <clears throat> Uh, select the particle object here and the software asks you please select some particle or emitter here for me okay the best way is click and dragging another control of uh, your fields is a point object it means you can control something with a point for example i create a cylinder here and for better seeing the what happened here, oh, you can make it a little it's not important. You can give it a displacement tag to better uh, seeing that. Okay, you are going to to yeah, render and displace. I explain the tag use and in the shading, I want just to make it a lines. Yeah, to see it better here so if you go to the plane here you can drag and drop any geometry to control that you can click and drag and it's in insert as a point object as you can see the point object it's, it's create as a point object and with a point in a point you can go to the parameter and just uh, you can go to the field, just turn the value off, and as you can see, you can better see it. Go to the uh, go to the effector. Yeah, the fields select it. Uh, we need a better color here to see it better. And as you can see, I think it's not good. Yeah, it's good. You can see it, okay? Or you can go to the this and make it 
think. Yeah, this color is nice to better see. And as you can see, it's uh, when the points of the, this geometry uh, contacts with the cloner, it uh, gives or change that parameter that you want. That in this case, just I turn the value and just a color of you, or you want to turn out the value. Uh, any any object of that with that radius, if you turn the value on, go to the layer of that and as you can see we have different mode if you select it the point it means with this radius as you can see it control the point it means we have a point here and in effect the cloner object around that okay change the color variation and the value of going position up Another thing is a surface. It means it's, we have a more continuous shape of the controller here. As you can see, it means it's contact the surface of this. The value, oh, the surface, we have another uh, thing, restrict effect. It means you can go just inside that, outside that, or inside and invert it. This is an volume it means it's uh, just create volume of that effect as you can see it's bringing all the volume inside of that that you can go and change the shape of the your cloner here your cylinder here that control this field and interesting another thing is curve you can control it with a curve and as you can see you can convex direct and anything we could curvature oh, for better seeing that it means if you increase that as you can see you can go with uh, concave con con convex or both to change its curvature it means it's uh, control the shape of the, this object with a curvature inside it. okay again it's very easy another thing is a spline it means you can create a, a spline con to control it we can create a circle here and change the direction of this here it has to be contact to the cloner and we can control the cloner with a spline if you select it so we need the effector it's a plane effector we can control the parameter of the position with a spline this way it's going to the field and you can do it uh, a spline object here and then as you which spline do you want to create select it and automatically uh, control the spline okay what happened here this is our curve here as you can see in a curve we have a start and the end of the curve because of the mode is the spline shape is a curve or a mask if you go into the mask it means <clears throat> it just uh, mask the curve and go inside of that going up what but what happened about this because of if you change the mask we have an, another option uh, we need projection in a y-axis to see that this is like a other effector as you can see it's create a y-axis with a fall off in here you can make it outside or inside and change the distance if you want and take these effects with a, a spline okay you can change with a spline but if you go to the curve uh, <clears throat> uh, for example here is the start of the curve uh, and if we go align the curve and going to the end because the if you move the, if you select the uh, spline shape to the curve distance mode is aligned aligned the curve uh, from the beginning it's going up and going down to end of the death it means the gradient and the effector is aligned the curve so in this part it's going exactly 100 percent up and with the gradient go to the turn back to the end of the curve if you want to see better you can change it to the radius now you can better better understanding that with a, that's a spline 
we can control all that. Interesting part is uh, if you uh, have a parametric shape of a spline, you can change the parameter of that and uh, have an interesting effect because, for example, <clears throat> go to the spline here and make the ring and as you can see you can see it better and change the radius and have an interesting effect and you can uh, both of them align and radius okay, if you radius just we have a radius here <clears throat> if you selected align we have a lot of interesting other sitting here that you can range to change the range of the start change the range of the end here or change the offset that you want or you can control <clears throat> zero <clears throat> or you can control this effect by um by this curve you can right click and reset it and as you can see we have just a linear mode you can hit control and click and drag and control shape of this align mode with controlling this that's it okay and this is the last one for controlling the fields of the colonel with display hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release